so that every time motion is detected in front of the sensor, it will trigger the dog barking. And intruders will have to beware. Hi and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Now today we're going to show you how to use the If This Then That applets, which can be used with your phone, your browser, or any of your Apple devices. So stay tuned and I'll show you all the applets you can choose from and how to do this very efficiently. So once you are logged into IF Triple T, if this then that, you are going to be able to create your very own or modify existing ones. Now for this particular video, I'm going to show you how to create your own and modify it from start to finish. Now just to let you know, you can use already created applets or create your very own. Now, this allows you to modify or create. For the sake of this particular demonstration, I'm gonna have it so every time the sensor is caused to create a motion, this is going to trigger the dog barking by, via the music switch. So let's see how this works. Okay, so once you go into my applets, you will actually have hundreds upon hundreds to choose from. So I'm just scrolling up here. There are so many, anything you can think of, it's here. Simulation, when this happened, that happens, the whole nine yards. So, going right to the point now, just scrolling back up, and they have recommended ones. I'm going to my applets, and I'm going to the plus sign on the top right corner, and you're clicking on if this. That will allow you for the first stage. So there are popular ones, or you can search. I'm searching and I'm putting smart with two T's. That pops up the smart things. I'm clicking on that. And then you can select a trigger, any new motion, and which device. You select a motion sensor, and then you put the check mark. That allows you to go to the next stage, then that. So once I click on that, it takes me to the next stage. Then again, I'm going to search the services smart with two t's smart things pops up i then click on that and i go to select the action which is switch on you select a switch i'm doing the music switch so that i get the dog barking i click on the check mark and if any new motion is detected by the motion switcher then switch on the music switch works with now let's test it out all right, so to show you how this all works, I am going to let you know the setup here. We actually have our stereo plugged into the switch and that will result in the speakers amplifying that sound so that every time motion is detected in front of the sensor, it will trigger the dog barking and intruders will have to beware. Now, if you want further information on how to do this, I have a security video coming up that you can check out as well for further information. Thanks, beware of dog people. So in addition to being able to create your own applet, you can also modify existing ones. I'm gonna show you how to do that and also go over the top 10. Now in this particular case, you can do this with your weather app. So what you do is you can actually change the time of day. I'm gonna put it to 8.30 a.m. and then I'm gonna click on okay. So that will actually allow you to create a, and configure a, a log, if you will. So every morning I'm going to have it and that will allow this activity to recur. You can get a notification with the weather every single day. Now my favorite one is actually the notification when there's a new video from a channel that you love. So for instance, for Home Automation X fans, you can actually get notified when there's a new video from this channel. And you can put your favorite channel in as you like it. Now that's a really neat feature. We also have the Find Your Android Phone with Google Assistant, which will actually set the ringer volume of your phone to 100% and call it, which is pretty neat. Now it will actually run within seconds. We also have a fun way to be able to have party time. Have fun with this voice command and put your hue lights in a color loop. That's right. So this is a really neat way to be able to bring on the party and brighten it up. Now you can also get text when a Gmail email arrives from a certain person. So let's say you are waiting on an important email. It will send you a text when you receive an email in your inbox from that particular party that you're waiting for. You have three applets that you can use. You can even tell Alexa to lock your door. Simply say, Alexa, trigger lock door to lock your smart things connected lock. Now that's a really neat thing to be able to, you know, choose the device and do that. 
You can even send yourself a mobile notification when your order is out for delivery. By order, I mean pizza order, maybe Domino's. So you can turn it on and make it happen. So that's a really neat thing. Now you can also get an email when a particular stock drops below a certain price and that will impact your pizza buying, I tell ya. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your stock info in the fields that are in existence there, and that will allow you to get the email when your particular stock drops below a certain price. And that is a neat way to do that. There's also a Google Assistant to post a tweet. Typing your tweets is so last year. So you can actually say, okay, Google tweet so-and-so to post, just keep it under 140 characters. So I can say, check out Home Automation X for the latest and greatest on If This Then That. So once again, that was our top 10 for If This Then That. That's right, IF Triple T. Now, if you are a fan of this kind of program and have some uh, definite ones that you use, we want to hear from you. So post them in the comments below because I always want to hear what people are using in their daily lives. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Also, when you subscribe, remember to click on the bell icon right next to it so you're gonna get notified when I release a new video. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and always check out our website at homeautomationx.com. Thanks for watching.